This clip is brought to you by 8 Sleep Mattresses, the temperature control Tesla of beds that automates your sleep. Sleep better and enjoy this clip. If you start to test people that are that are heavy, uh, they may find problems, but I don't know if they'll really care. Somebody that is interested that does get the blood work done to investigate and to look into it further, that person probably is more likely to like do something about it. Mm -hmm. But I think usually there's a lot of concern from family members and from a lot of other people where they would like to see individuals make better choices, but that individual just, they don't care. They don't currently have any, uh, they're not noticing anything negative, but also maybe they're in complete denial because maybe they can't keep up with their kids. Uh, maybe going up and down the stairs is hard. So there's a lot of factors that, that kind of morph into there, but I think that we lie to ourselves. You know, it, are you addicted to video games? Nah, man, I'm good. Are you addicted to porn? No, nah, man, I'm good. You know, why, why do we uh, continue, even people in fitness, why do we continue to eat things that we know is not good for us? Uh, we're supposed to be the ultimate examples of health and fitness. And here we are, we still have issues with eating ice cream and eating, you know, various things. We're trying to be more, re in our minds, we're trying to be more reasonable about it. But who am I to infer what's reasonable to somebody else? Um, I think the word reasonable is like one of my favorite words because, I think that people can interpret that word whatever way they would like. Subjective. They they can be subjective with it and they can say, okay, like I got a spare tire or, I, you know, I'm heavier than I'd like to be and this doesn't feel great, but um, I'm really happy with who I am. I feel like I'm a good person. I feel like I make a lot of the right decisions. I don't want to sacrifice a bunch of my food. And if I'm being reasonable, yeah, I'm probably 40 or 50 pounds overweight. Those assumptions sound pretty good, and that, but that kind of person with that kind of healthy mindset is going to want to have a healthier body. They are at some point going to make a decision. And so I think I used to kind of think like you could fix the mind with the mind, like, oh, it's just the way you think about your thoughts. I now kind of have changed that up a little bit. It's like you need a sound mind in order to even think about controlling the thoughts that you have. At, but in addition to that, you need a sound body because you're getting ugly signals from your body. You're getting signals that aren't correct from your body that are telling you that you're in pain, that you can't do stuff. It's going to be really difficult. So how do we get, I'll just say this flat out, people that are obese, they're broken in some way, whether it be through their mind or through their body. Anyone can argue on me with that in any way they would like. I'm not trying to be mean or hurtful. They are broken. They they have parts of them that are not uh, functioning the correct way to be reasonable towards making better health choices. And I'm talking about people that are way overweight. I'm talking like morbidly obese. How do you how do you unbreak something that's broken? Once something's broken, it usually never looks the same again. You can try to glue it back together. You can try to tape it together, and it's very very difficult. So. The people that are really heavy that say they don't care, I think they actually have a lot of intuition and they're saying they don't care because they recognize how fucking difficult it would be because they would have to make so many changes that it probably feels extremely overwhelming to them. Mm -hmm. So Pat Roger family, I hope you enjoyed this clip. We are on Discord and Reddit. We're trying to talk to you guys and build a community down there. So the links are in the bio. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, share this out with people so you can share the wealth of health. As cheesy as that fucking sounds. Peace.